Hello everyone. Today in this video, I am going to discuss how you can get admission in IIT or NIT without qualifying a GATE examinations. If you have not qualified a GATE exams or if you have not appeared in GATE exams, then also you can get admission in NIT or IIT for your MTech course in your core branches. So in this video, I am going to discuss what are the steps that you have to follow for getting admissions in IIT or NIT without GATE score. And also I will discuss what are the basic eligibility criteria and what are the important dates that are going for this admission process. So watch the video till the end and if you are new to our channel then kindly subscribe our channel and press the bell icon so that you can get the notifications of what video we are uploading on this channel. So let's start today video. First of all I will discuss how you can get the admissions in IIT or NIT without GATE score. So there are two category of admissions in IIT or NIT without GATE a score or having a very low GATE score. These two category are self-sponsored or the spot round admissions. These are the two category that I am going to discuss in this today video. So what are the basic difference between these two category? First I will discuss that uh, the first category is self-sponsored and the students who got admissions in the self-sponsored category will not get any scholarship. So in general, the students who get admissions for MTech courses, then they get a stipend of 12,800 per month. But if you have not qualified the GATE examinations and you get the admissions through self-sponsored category, then you will not get any stipend. And also if you have qualified the GATE examinations and your GATE score is very low, and your admission category is self-sponsored category then also you are not going to get any stipend per month and the next category is a spot round admissions in some uh, colleges if the seats are vacant then there is a notification for a spot round admissions and if you got admissions in a spot round and you have qualified the gate examinations then you will get uh, a stipend of 12,800 per month so one thing uh, should be noted uh, among these two category is that uh, your classes will run combinedly that if you got admissions through self-sponsored category or if you got admissions through a spot round then all the students will sit in the common classroom a same teacher will teach same course will go ahead only the differences is that uh, students who qualified gate will get a stipend and students who not qualified gate will not get any stipend so these are the basic differences and uh, this is the only differences not the basic difference this is, this is one and only differences other there is no any differences in degree or any courses or any type of lab activities college activities all the activities will be run same for the both category now i will discuss about the eligibility the only eligibility for these two category is that you have to qualify your BTEC course. It means that you have to pass in your BTEC courses. And now I will discuss about the important dates. So uh, there is no any important dates for uh, there is no any common important date for the admission process. Uh, each institute release their own notifications. So the dates for this admission uh, form filling date registration date are different for every institute so you will have to visit on every institute websites for these important notifications now i will uh, show you some institute previous year notifications for this admission process now first i will discuss the uh, uh, self-sponsored category of admissions for mtech course in iit patna here you can see mtech in artificial intelligence admission 2023 and 24 this was the notification released by iit patna for the admission for session 2023 and 24. You can see here Center of Excellence in Artificial Intelligence, Bisleson One Hub Foundations, Indian Institute of Technology, Patna. It was the MTech course in Artificial Intelligence by the IIT Patna. Here you can see uh, the basic details about this course is that duration is same as usual two years. Course fee is 75,000 per semester, total intake is 30. Category self sponsored and sponsored. The only eligibility for this course is that you have to qualify BTEC, BE degree in computer science, IT, ECE, EE or MCA. And also the deadline for this application was 14 June 2023. The application procedure for this uh, uh, courses is mentioned here and the application fee for the different category is mentioned here. So this was the uh, 
सेल्फ स्पॉन्सर्ड कैटेगरी फॉर एम टेक इन आई आई टी पटना वेयर यू डोंट नीड एनी गेट स्कोर नाउ आई विल डिस्कस फॉर द डिफरेंट कॉलेज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई विल डिस्कस फॉर एन आई टी जलंधर हेयर यू कैन सी डॉक्टर भीम राव अम्बेडकर नेशनल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी जलंधर इट इज ऑल्सो रिलीज द नोटिफिकेशन फॉर सेल्फ स्पॉन्सर्ड कैटेगरी एडमिशन एंड वाइल्ड स्क्रोलिंग डाउन यू कैन सी हेयर इट हेज अ डिफरेंट ब्रांचेज फॉर द एम टेक सेल्फ स्पॉन्सर्ड एंड ऑल द ब्रांचेज है डिफरेंट सीट्स ऑल्सो यू कैन सी हेयर एडमिशन प्रोसीड्योर यू कैन सी हेयर गेट क्वालिफाइड कैंडिडेट सेल बी एडमिटेड विदाउट एनी इंट्रेंस टेस्ट बेस्ड अपॉन द गेट स्कोर एंड द स्टूडेंट्स हुव नॉट क्वालिफाइड द गेट एग्जामिनेशन सेल बी एडमिटेड बेस्ड अपॉन द एडमिशन टेस्ट टू बी कैरिड आउट बाई द रिस्पेक्टिव डिपार्टमेंट्स इट मीन्स डैट इफ यू हैव नॉट क्वालिफाइड गेट देन यू हैव टू गिव द डिपार्टमेंट्स एग्जामिनेशन एंड बेस्ड ऑन दिस एंट्रेंस एग्जामिनेशन यू विल बी इनरोल फॉर दिस कोर्सेज ऑल्टो ऑल्सो यू शुड बी नोटेड हेयर इफ द नंबर ऑफ कैंडिडेट इज लेस देन योर एडमिशन विल बी based on the direct interview no any entrance test take place only on the based of interview your admission will be done so these were uh, that was the uh, previous institute i discussed now i will discuss about the nit durgapur also it is one of the best institute nit institute and it is in the west bengal for this institute also the notification was released for the self category as mtech courses and the important dates were mentioned here for session 2023 and 24 you can see here the basic details for the admission process if you have not qualified the gate examination here you can see non gate qualified students for this the minimum eligibility is at 7.5 cgpa or 70% for btech or equivalent and if you have done msc then you have cgpa should be 6.5 this is for open obc ncl or ews and for sc st it is only 7 cgpa for btech and 6 cgpa for msc courses so this was for nit durgapur now i will discuss for nit silchar here you can see the notification was released for nit silchar and for nit silchar you can see here uh, you can see here the sport round get score is not mandatory this means that mtech admissions through a sport round uh, students who participate in this then they don't required any uh, get score also you can see here the fee structure is mentioned for this courses and the important dates is mentioned for this a uh, previous year admissions for mtech courses so this was for the nit silchar and now i will discuss for nit hamirpur and this was the browser list for 2023 admissions for admissions in nit hamirpur self sponsored mtech courses for this you can see here it has a different branches and each branches has a different number of seats and uh, you can see here the eligibility criteria is mentioned here that uh, uh selection and eligibility criteria is also mentioned here shortlisting and selection criteria you can see here the applicants shall be scrutinized by the concerned department the provisionally shortlisted candidates shall be called for written test and interview in the respective departments the department shall conduct a 50 marks mcq test for the candidates who are not get qualified for the purpose of shortlisting them for interview and if you have qualified the get uh, score then you don't need Uh, to give this entrance examinations it means that you can directly appear the interview and take admission for the mtech courses so this was the notification laid by nit hamirpur for the previous year by this way you can see uh, the different institute laid their own notifications on the different dates so the basic task for the students who wants to get admissions through this uh, wage then they had to visit regularly on the different colleges website official website and when they reach the notification then he or she had to fill the uh, form as soon as the notification is reached also i will upload the notifications of the different institutions when they reach the notification on this channel so kindly subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so that you can get the notifications of that video also if you have any doubt regarding this admission process and if you have any questions then kindly push your doubt and comments in our comment box i will try to reply your doubts or co answer your questions as soon as possible so see you in the next video till then bye bye